za jioni. Karibuni sana Sidea. Uh, tumefurahi kwamba mmefika. Tunajua designers are very busy. Lakini you've taken your time to be with us. Uh, on this day when to launch this program that is very important. Mgeni rasmi ningependa kuanza kwa kutoa angalau overview ya hii program. Najua kwenye barua umepata angalau what it's all about lakini kwa sababu kuna wageni kutoka Nigeria mwingine came yuko hapa ni partners wetu angalau watu waondoke hapa waelewe hii program inahusisha nani na nani so hapa sidea tuna kitu kinaitwa creative economy incubator na uh, wakati tulikuwa tunaianzisha tulikuwa na vision au dira ya kuwezesha wasanii you know artists na creative entrepreneurs wa sekta ya filamu uh, ya fashion ambaye ni di fashion designers pamoja na musicians uh, but the idea ni kwamba kazi ambayo tuna tu, knowledge ambayo tunawapa inaweza kuchangia you know kipato cha taifa hiyo ndio uh, long term goal focus nimeshasema itakuwa na vipengele viwili ya kwanza is uh, strengthening the ecosystem around your business lakini ya pili is to promote the visibility of your products so the aim of this uh, project ni kwamba those of your businesses ambazo labda has just shine they are under the table they are they are, they are great businesses lakini they are, the candle is under the table e program itawawezesha ili muweze kuweka candle zenu kwenye meza your businesses should be seen in africa so kazi kazi ya umradi ni ku, kuwatangaza beyond uh, the project so nilikuwa nataka kutoa also a summary of what is going to happen our partners ambao wanakuja wanaleta nguvu gani kwenye hii uh, creative economy incubator ndugu mgeni rasmi uh, mwaka huu elfu mbili na ishirina mbili siku ya leo tunazindua rasmi mradi wa atamizi ya sanaa ambayo imejikita kwenye ubunifu mavazi na mitindo kwa kupitia mradi huu sasa tunaendelea kudumisha tulianza kwa kuandika tukafika kutafuta fedha na sasa tumefika kwenye hatua ya utekelezaji kwa hiyo tunategemea utakapotuzindulia siku ya leo utekelezaji utaanza rasmi wa huu mradi wa atamizi ya sanaa ya ubunifu lakini sina mengi nipende tena kurudia shukrani zangu za dhati kwa baraza la sanaa la taifa na wakufunzi wetu pamoja na washiriki wetu mgeni rasmi napenda kuwasilisha napenda kumshukuru mwenye mkurugenzi wetu atukaribishie mgeni rasmi karibu ayeta kwa niaba ya sidea ndipenda kukaribisha mgeni rasmi wetu ambaye ni arts manager director wa basata karibu sana bwana Naushukuru uongozi wa Sidea kwa kunipa heshima hii kubwa kuja kuungana na wadau wengine katika uzinduzi wa mradi huu aha mkubwa mradi huu unaitwa atamizi ya kazi za sanaa lakini hapa ni, ni maarufu au mahususi zaidi kwenye eneo la uh, mavazi uh, bunifu wa mavazi na mitindo kwa hiyo uh, tunaona kwamba mradi um, umelenga um, kuwaleta wabunifu pamoja wanaochipukia na nikiona kweli una bunifu wanaochipukia ehe kutoka Afrika Mashariki mradi huu utawezesha kubadilishana ujuzi na uzoefu katika miuru mzima wa thamani. Tumesikia wasilisho la la dada yetu Ayeta hapa lakini tumesikia wasilisho la Angela kwamba kwenye sekta hii ya sanaa na hasa eneo la bunifu wa mavazi na mitindo kuna mnyororo mkubwa wa thamani pale. Kuna mwingiliano mkubwa iko ile mgawanyo wa majukumu. Ukimwangalia mshonaji au fundi chereani au designer paka mimi nitokee jinsi nilivyotokea leo kuna vitu vingi vinatakiwa vifanyike lakini bado hatujaweza kuvifanya kwa ukamilifu wake kwa sisi tunapongeza kile ambacho wenzetu walikuwa na maono 
wakaweza kukaa ameeleza hapa Angela waka, wakawa na wazo wakaandika lakini sasa imefikia kwenye hatua kutafuta na kupata fedha na sasa kutekeleza kwa sisi kama basata baraza la sanaa la taifa linalosimamia sanaa tunawapongeza sana kwa hiyo nia mlikuwa nayo na malengo mliyaweka na sasa tunakwenda kufikia hatua ya utekelezaji Aa, baada ya kusema hivyo ni sema sasa rasmi mradi huu umezinduliwa rasmi. Asanteni sana na shukuru sana. Ongereni sana kwa kazi hii. I was starting so what I'm supposed to do today is practically first thing is introduction to fashion business, how to identify business opportunity in fashion, why start a business and how what's understanding the global fashion market, product knowledge and development, understanding market analysis, preparing for the collection and videos. So let me start with what is fashion business? Anybody? What do you understand that is a fashion business? Hmm? Sorry? It's a creative business of creating, uh, collecting ideas, creating specific. Yeah, that's right. Any other person? Making money out of fashion. Fantastic. I mean, I don't care what you are creating, but if I can make money from it, you are not a business. Commercialization of your creativity is what they call innovation. You are innovative when your creativity is being commercialized and I can sell it and make money from it. You are an innovative brand. But when you cannot commercialize your creativity, you are just a passion. The next thing is how to identify opportunities in fashion. How many of us know that you don't necessarily need to be a fashion designer to, to make money in fashion? How many? Do you know that you don't have to sew to make money in fashion? You know. You decide to sit down on that machine does not make you, does not take you away from being a fashion successful fashion brand or not. But if you want to do fashion designing, you need to be able to do it and do it very well. So I have some questions I want everybody to answer according to their brand. And you give me these questions, this answer. Anybody that has, that get this my book, has taken my life. <laughs> okay. So if you want to discover a niche, a business opportunity in fashion business. You need to be able to know what a niche is. You know what a niche? That specific thing that differentiates you between this person and this person. So, what's your niche? What makes you different? Uh, what makes me different is uh, that I put. Uh, I just don't do products. I I sell experience. Sell experience. Yes. So I don't normally do a lot of products and it's not just products, it's an experience or a service that I provide. My niche is style and comfortability. Uh, in my design most of the time I try to make outfits which are very stylish. Not sophisticated but stylish enough but also comfortable because I do make a lot of everyday wear. You will still be playing in fashion industry and you'll be good at it, depending on how you want to do your niche. So like now, a niche, might you might find out that, oh, even in this fashion business I'm trying to sew, it's not my niche. Can I start doing something else, but still in that fashion, because you are passionate about it. See, some people are created with wonderful skills. But for me, I, I have known my level. I cannot sew. I can't sew to save my life. But do you know what? I can take your business and I can sell it. 
I know a business that can make money and a business that cannot make money. I cannot sue. But I can give you a design and a business model that can make you a multi billion naira person. No stories. I have businesses that have done that for in Nigeria. I can take you to a market that you don't if you don't even think that you will go to. But I can't sell. I'm a business manager. I am looking at numbers. So my own is in my brain. I'm looking at how many can I sell? Can this person sell? Oh, okay. Let's look at the revenue model. If we are doing a 25% increase and we are doing 50 pieces in this store, 50, how many can we do in a year? Multiply it by the number of production. What is the cost of sale? What is the margin? This is what is in my head. I'm not interested in how you sew it. But what I'm interested is how I make money from that thing that you've called your present. That is me. You know, fashion marketing is different from every other marketing. Because fashion appeals to the eyes, the storytelling, the content, and all that. So if you are good with storytelling, and you are a fashion brand, and your brand has, please start storytelling other brands. Have a media out of it. Because that is a way of making money. We have fashion retailing and merchandising. That is one of the things uh, everyone will have to do. So, our responsibility is retailing and merchandising. You know there is a skill. So, it is retailing and merchandising is not about you going to a store and having clothes displayed. There is a way they call retailing and that is what they call merchandising. Merchandising has to do with the art of creating brands and experience in store and online. The, the attention that you need to pay happen kwa sababu you guys are not fashion designers yet. Kwa sababu tu kama unatengeneza nguo alafu unajiita fashion designer. Not true. Yamani tupo mbali sana. We are not even 2 centimeters close to where we need to be. We have a lot of work to do. So kuna subjects ambazo those mtasikia alafu mtakuwa mnaona kama ah how are now to choose an iron mambo? Ikiwa kama unachoka, basi, this is not, you're not thinking of being a proper fashion designer. Kwa sababu, mtu anaenda shule three years. Three years. Three years hawakai pale kutengeneza anguo moja. Three years they're going deep. So please, be open, research, learn, ukisikia vitu vipya, Yifundishe. We've got so much to go. Akini, we've got so much potential. No man, I'm just like sad. I'm like, ah! Potentially for nyingi sana. You guys can go so far, but you have to know that kitu ambocho, the blessing anasema, vitu ambofo mimi nasema. We're not talking things too, kwa sababu, tunataka kwa changa. Misha nini, or just to confuse you. You might not get everything leo, akini it's okay. No process. Leo mnapata kingine, kesho mtapata kingine. Labda mtapata nusu of what we explained today. But then, siku nyingine mtauliza. Then by the end of this, even if you get half of what we've taught you, kweli tutakuwa tume piga atua.